The Pallava dynasty came to power in Deccan region called Tondaimandalam from 275 CE to 897 CE after the downfall of Satavahanas. Mahidravarman and Narsimha Arman were the most powerful rulers who dominated the southern Andhra Pradesh and the northern parts of the Tamil region for about 600 years. Until the end of the 9th century, Pallavas always remained in conflict with Chalukyas, Pardyas and Cholas. They were defeated by Chola ruler Aditya I. Pallava dynasty left behind magnificent sculptures and Sanatna Dharma temples and are recognized to have established the foundations of medieval South Indian architecture. This transition period witnessed development of a few scripts and languages other than Sanskrit. Although Pallavas were followers of Sanatna Dharma, but they were tolerant of other faiths and had made a few gifts of land and temples to Brahmanas. They performed Ashwamedha and Vedic sacrifices. Inscription number 21 Maidavolu copper plate inscription of Sivaskan Davarman. Regnal year 10. Provenance Maidavolu, Narsaravu Peta Taluka, Hista district. Andhra Pradesh. Script. Cursive middle Brahmi of the southern class of the 4th century AD. These copper plates were strung on a copper ring held together with an elliptical copper seal which had the figure of a bull and the name Sivaskandavarmana engraved on it. The bull was the famous emblem of the Pallavas and the name is of the Pallava king of the 4th century CE. This set of copper plates was discovered in 1899 by a man who was digging a field in an abandoned village north of Madavolu in Guntur district, Andhra Pradesh. The inscription records an executive order by King Sivaskandavarman addressed to the king's official at Dhanakada, conferring the gift of a village Viripura to two scholars. It mentions that the land thus donated was exempted from digging for salt, entrance of soldiers, supply of boiled rice, water pots, cots and dwellings. Transgressors of this edict were liable to bodily punishment. Since this grant was issued by Sivaskandavarman only in the capacity of Yuva Maharaja, I heir apparent, the year must refer to the reign of his father. Some scholars identify him with the Srivijaya Skandavarman, who issued the Gunapadeya copper plate grant treating Siva as well as Vijaya as honorifics. But Sirkar rejects this assumption. See his successors of the Satavahanas. Dhanyalkata, the Andhra capital, has been identified with modern Amaravati Uppugundur marble pillar inscription of Virapurushadatta year 19 also refers to Dhanyayata. The exemption granted by the king pertained to the traditional obligations of the villagers to the touring officers of the state and to the king's personal establishment on ceremonial occasion. Like coronation, marriage etc. Kachipura city mentioned in this inscription identical with the modern city of Kachipuram about 88 kilometers west of Madras. English translation of the inscription from Kachipura, the Yuva Maharaja Sivaskandavarman of the family of the Pallavas and of Bharadvaja Gotra orders his official at Dhanyakata for conferring on ourselves victory and for increasing our merit, life and power. We have now given, with libations of water the village of Viripara in Andhrapatha to the two Brahmanas, Arya Purvakotu of Agnivasya Gotra and Arya Gunandin of Agnivasya Gotra. To this village of Viripara we grant all the immunities associated with donations to Brahmanas, namely freedom from digging for salt, freedom from state panel coat, freedom from obligatory supply of bullocks, out of bounds for soldiers, 
freedom from the supply of boiled rice, water pots, perishable commodities, courts and lodgings. With these and all the other immunities according to the established rules regarding gifts to Brahmanas, it has been exempted. Accordingly you have to exempt and cause it to be exempted. Those who transgressing our edict shall cause or shall make others cause trouble obstruction to the enjoyment of these exemptions on him, we shall inflict bodily punishment. The year 10th, 10th, the 6th, 6th, fortnight of summer, the 5th, 5th day, executed by myself. Accordingly, the plate has been given. Footnote. The formality of making a religious gift consists of dropping a palmful of water into the hand of the doni with the words, I give you such and such thing. The word sunvasm appears to refer to the obligation of the villagers to provide accommodation to touring officials.